Dude, it's a brook trout. What's up, my fellow fly fishermen? Graham Ferguson here, host of Fly Casting Colorado. We are up in the mountains right now, and I found a really, really little tiny pond. Um, super secret. Nobody knows about it. Just this tiny little pond, and it's supposed to be absolutely full of brookies. And in case you guys didn't know, my favorite fish is a brook trout. I they're I don't know. I just love them. They're they've got to be my favorite fish. Um, they're actually a species of chars. <laughs> Technically, they're not actually a species of trout. They are, in fact, a species of char, um, Salmo fontilius. And um, here's my reasoning for why they are my favorite fish and all trout I love so much and pursue so vividly. Um, I feel like all of the fish that you see in coral reefs and stuff, those fish are pretty because they have to blend in with the corals that are naturally pretty and stuff. However, brook trout and most trout, they are living in environments where there's no need for to be pretty or have different colors. They just are. It's in their nature, I guess you could say. Uh, like, they don't have to be pretty to survive. Um, they just end up being pretty, I guess. So, I mean, I can't complain with that. And uh, hopefully we get on some fish before uh, the storm rolls in because there was supposed to be a storm coming in and uh, hopefully we are able to dodge that and if not fish through that so hopefully i get on a few fish should be a really exciting episode for both you guys and for me and uh hope you guys really enjoy this video so uh just a little update we reached near the spot and it's not raining right now hopefully the storm doesn't cause us too much trouble but we are now at the loafing jug, cause you know you gotta get that snack. Gotta get your snack on. Fat boy two. Not the fat boy one, we got the fat boy two. Also, shout out to my mom for taking me. That's a fighter. Man, it's another rainbow. Yeah.
So basically one of the tricks that I used while I was here was that in this pond, whenever you would see a fish rise, you would immediately cast to that fish that just rised, and 90% of the time that exact same fish would come up and just smack your fly exactly as soon as you cast it. It's a big one. It's a very, very big brookie. Magnificent fish, though. Stunning, stunning colors on this fish. Stunning colors on this fish. Absolutely stunning. Stunning fish. This guy. Just a uh, quick intermission from the pond. It's really close down there and it's raining pretty hard right now. So just taking a little break and going to Einstein. Just to get some food.
It's a rainbow. Yeah. Multi species. So, uh, we are just wrapping up the day here at the, uh, at the pond. Had an awesome day. Caught eight fish. Super fun. Great day. Caught my first brook trout. <laughs> I'm so, so happy about that, you guys. You don't even know. Um... I don't know if you guys can even see my face right now because uh, of the sun and the way it's hitting me and probably a lot of the shade and stuff, but uh, it was a super awesome day. I mean, you guys, don't be afraid to explore. Uh, this, that's how I found this spot. and uh, You're not always going to find a hidden gem like this, but I mean, if you explore enough, you're gonna find fishing spots and they're gonna hold fish and nobody's gonna know about them and you're gonna have a very 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 great time I mean uh, right next to it there's a river here but uh, I'm not I wasn't even fishing that didn't even really want to get near it because that is a river that is I'll, I can show you guys in a second here uh, it is a river that is polluted because of mining for silver and stuff so there was a huge die off of all the of all the fish here and uh if you guys can't see the water is literally blue because of uh all of this mining so i mean really sad to see a river like that go go to waste from something like that but the pond right next to it is a hidden gem just full of fish I'm so satisfied with today. Ugh, as I push through a bush. Couldn't be more satisfied with the day. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys learned a few things. And uh, I really hope to see you guys on the next video. Tight lines, everybody.